Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm the museum curator at the Bayshore Center at Bivalves Delaware Bay Museum. I'm calling this Curator's Curiosities, where I take a look at interesting artifacts found in our collection and share them with you. Right now I want to take a look at the Great uh, Oyster uh, Schooner Race of 1929. It was originally set for two days, August 23rd and 24th, but due to little or no wind, it was only held uh, the one day. Now, it was a grand event, um, lots of money and time spent on this. Um, you can see here in the photograph uh, that the schooner crews and uh, other folks got together. Uh, they had um, custom-made uniforms, sort of those stereotypical uh, sailor suit uniforms, which of course the guys wouldn't have used while working. Um, if you take a look here, we have one of those original uniforms. This is from the Catherine and Elma. And if you're wondering who are Catherine and Elma, take a look here at this photograph of these two little girls, and they are actually Catherine and Elma. Uh, because uh, boats and ships uh, are generally uh, female, or have a female name, of course, uh, except for our uh, A.J. Meerwald, which is named for Augustus Joseph Meerwald. Uh, but generally, again, you would name them after a female, either your mother or your daughter, because, of course, you always have your mother and you always have your daughter. You may not always have your wife. So you don't name a boat after your wife. Uh, what's interesting about this race uh, being held in August of 1929, uh, you know, it represented the Roaring Twenties, uh, all of that excess, uh, the money that was being made and spent, and... It really was that culmination of it uh, between having the sailor suits, uh, the cups that were awarded uh, to the winners of the race. Uh, you had elaborate uh, floral arrangements. Um, and really this is marking the end of that time period because by October of 1929, just a few short weeks later, uh, you have the crash and the start of the Great Depression. So this is really, again, the end um, of that era and uh, of the, um, those uh, millionaires that you always hear about uh, here along the Bayshore region.